Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set a tick profit and stop loss order on the Weibo uh, desktop version. And again, why you want to set something up like this is because you want to take profits once a certain uh, the stock price hits a certain target price that you want to take profits in. So you're locking your profits. And the reason why you want to set a stop loss is because you want to mitigate the risk and not lose a lot of money future or uh, later down the road if the stock price decides to drop. And because it's obviously for convenience sakes, because if you're out working or doing other stuff, you don't have time to watch the stock market or the stock in general, this might be really beneficial for you. And again, uh, you're going to be doing on the desktop version. And if you haven't already downloaded Weibo or sign up with Weibo yet and fund the account, feel free to do so. They're still giving out free stocks if you do so in a certain time frame. So again, let me jump to the desktop version and show you how to set up a stop pro uh, take profit and stop loss order. So currently, this is my account on the Weibo desktop version. And to arrive at this screen, this is basically just the customized layout uh, tab that I'm in. Currently, this is on the default um, layout. And a lot of you guys who are just starting out will have a default layout uh, in place. Uh, so it'll look something similar like this. But if not, just go to your account or your uh, customized setting with the position and just find your position area right over here that you currently own. So these are the stocks that I currently own. And again, if you were to do, if you if you can't find this and for some reason you're on like the stocks I, uh, the icon right over here and you type in your ticker right over here, it will not connect your positions uh, to the, the stocks that you wanna sell or buy. Because currently, or you wanna sell, because currently if I were to just sell, is this basically uh, me sh trying to you know sell a, a Starbucks stocks currently right now and it's not connected to my actual account that I want to sell a Starbucks right so this is if you don't get all that just that's that's okay because that's not the point of this uh, the point is this is to guide you to find to find the position and also set the trade up so going back to my uh, default what uh, layouts right Currently, just find your position that you find the stocks that you want to sell that you currently own. So go to your positions uh, icon or the tab that you uh, that's on your screen and then find the stocks that you own. And then what what I'm going to do is going to do a sample on Apple. And by the way, this is a live account. So I'm going to right click it and then close position because if you're doing a tick profit or stop loss, you're gonna be selling uh, the position. So click close position, scroll down and set close by stop loss and tick profit. So click on that. So once you're on here, you can set it up. So currently, uh, right now I have just, this just ran, these numbers are just random. Uh, so, but look at your average price. So my current average price is $123.39 for Apple, right? So let's say I just want to, let's say uh, stop loss. So basically I want to cut my losses uh, to one, 110, right? So uh, no, oops. Say uh, one, yeah, 110. Oh yeah, 110, what well, quantity, I'm just, just gonna do one. Okay, quantity set as one, 110. For the sake of this uh, example, it's gonna be super simple math. So 110, so basically to take the difference of 123 and 110, it comes out to be one, uh, $13. So this is what I'm comfortable in and I'll just set it as is, losing $13 if the stock decided to go south. And then the limit price is basically your take profit order. I'm gonna set it up to something like 133. So another like $10, around like $9.61. So, so this is, I'm comfortable selling the stock at 133 and taking profit. Currently it's trading between uh, right 140, 142. So 142, that's probably not a good price. I wanna be set, let's set it up at 170 right now because if I were to do this, it's gonna execute. So 170, uh, it's not gonna execute anytime soon. So 170, I'm, I'm making $46.61. But, uh, off of my uh, average price. And again, again, after that, once you're comfortable with setting the prices, you just hit sell. And by the way, there's also a percentage that you can set too. So to click on this and it'll switch to percentage. And then you can switch these percentage as well for this. Uh, so once you set percentage, notice that make sure if you're gonna set a stop price, have a negative in front of your percentage because if you have a negative in front of percentage, that's when the, uh, the system will know that, oh, it has to go down a certain percentage in order for it to execute. And based off of this, if I were to put negative 10, negative 10%, it'll 
give me an estimate profit of $4.85. Uh, and the reason why it's giving me still a profit is because it's going off of the market price, right? Currently right over here. So right now it's currently trading at 142. And if I have a negative 10%, I'm still profitable because my cost basis is 123. So if I were to do something like something crazy, like uh, like a 40%, right? Negative 40%, it'll, give me, it'll return me a negative number. And this is where I'm comfortable in selling the stock at. Uh, uh, so this is currently negative uh, $37.94. And again, you could do the same as for the price as well. On this side, plus 10, it'll give me a uh, percentage of my estimated profit. And this is based, again, this is based off of the market price, not your average price. So make sure you get this uh, straight because that's really important. You could probably be losing or, you know, up in the green or have the stock execute really quick if you're not careful with this. So usually I just set it as the dollar amount. So then, um, it's easy to track for me and I could actually visualize it on the screen. So I'm gonna do this as, um, I, I'll just leave it at 80, negative, oh, $80 right over here. So, and then I'll just change this as 120 and I'll show you something or 170 over here for tick profit. So I'll show you something really cool about this as well. So I'm gonna just hit sell and then I'll have this screen right over here just to confirm everything is simple. You know, you're selling at $80 and or you're selling your loss, uh, you're sending your stop loss at $80, and then if it goes trigger, it's gonna execute the order, or if it uh, hits 170, it'll take profits and lock in your profits. And then hit okay, and it went through. So right now I have my orders right over here. So they're not gonna be executed unless the price gets uh, triggered or hits that price. So if I go scroll to my right, it's just in the status is working. So right now, just you just set and forget basically. And what's cool about this, if if you were to scroll and make this shorter, 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 you'll see that there is the target at 170 and and 80. You know the, the stop loss at 80. And what's cool is that you could actually move this. So let's say you want to lock in your profits a little bit sooner, uh, and you just adjust this to one 155, right? It'll just redo the order for you, and all you have to do is just hit OK, and uh, everything gets submitted and everything gets changed. So if I did that now, my right over here is changed to 155, and that's pretty much it for uh, for this. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to definitely let me know it down in the comments section, and I'll be happy to answer any questions and get back to you as soon as possible if I can. And again, uh, if you like tutorials like this. Feel free to give it a like and also maybe consider subscribing for more weekly uploads like these. And I'll catch y'all later.